go make a video about a CrossFit teacher. First, we're gonna fetch my surfboard. One, two, three, go. Today, we're meeting up with William Brown, a CrossFit and yoga teacher at Eden on the Bay in Bloberg. Johan. Johan and Darren are the brains behind lessons.co.za. They're going to come in and help me out a little bit today. How's it, Dean? Lekker. Off to join Johan and Dean. They are at the Two Oceans CrossFit. Should be fun. How's it going, boys? <laughs> My name is William Brown. Uh, I'm the owner at Two Oceans Specialized Training and I'm a CrossFit coach and a yoga instructor. CrossFit in South Africa is really grown up in the last six years. Um, it started off, I mean, a guy I know started in Pretoria at the back of his house. Um, they had a, quite a big yard and he put up a rig there and they actually literally just started his classes over there. From there, Cape CrossFit was the first one to open in town. And then in the last, I think, two or three years, it's just literally boomed. We've got quite a few boxes, of new boxes opening up everywhere. Um, we're about three months old. We interviewed Will to find out a little bit more about his personal touch and insight into the CrossFit world. Check out the link in the description to see his full profile. For now, I was more interested in what we could expect to see today. Today is basically programmed around weightlifting, um, weightlifting and strength and technique. So we basically did the bear complex, just a lifting complex, um, getting you used to working between certain lifting movements. And then from there we went into a short 12 minute uh, AMRAP and that's basically based on CrossFit Endurance by Brian McKenzie. CrossFit is all about pushing your body to its limits, but within a safe and controlled environment. So it's advised to join with a gym like this and seek out professional advice and support. soon time to put the lessons duo up for a round of CrossFit 101. People in life feel like they can't start something new. Yeah. So they might watch this video and they feel like, oh, look what those guys are doing, but uh, I can't do that. What can you tell me that mm. makes anybody go, you know what, I can go and do that? Well, everybody has to start somewhere. You need a starting point and you need to push through that initial two or three weeks of suffering, two, two or three weeks of pain and to get to your end result. Um, is this all stigma created around fitness and this is all the fault of all the fitness magazines and all the beauty magazines. Everybody thinks that it's a quick eight minute a day uh, fix to look like the cover model, where it's not. If you want to get to where you need to be, if you want to look the way you want to look, if you want to be the best surfer you want to be, if you want to be the best kite surfer you want to be, if you just want to play around with your kids and lose 10 kgs, you're not gonna, it's not just gonna happen and your gym membership isn't gonna, isn't gonna make it happen. You need to put in work. So for people that, that feel intimidated, it is scary. And it's, it, it sucks the first two weeks and three weeks. I'm, I'm honest about it. But after that, your, your quality of life just improves so much. I mean, hiking with friends, running, cycling, whatever the case may be. Like we specialize in not specializing. So we literally take you and make you fit and uh, ready for anything that life can throw at you. After an extensive introduction course and doing a proper squat, push up and pull up, we'll put Darren and Johan on a five minute AMRAP. In other words, cycle through the three movements for five minutes. Sounds fairly easy, but believe me, it's a killer. This was about two minutes into the exercise. I can assure you they did finish the five minutes. But 
we're just gonna jump to the end now. Realize the whole you want until you try it. That was pretty intense. Five minutes. Ooh. And uh, how did they do? They did pretty damn well. Well. One off. <laughs> that was hard work. We're heading. Where are we heading? Hey, we're going for a board meeting at Big Bay, eating in the bay, surfing. Before we could go have an official company board meeting, we needed another board. So we popped over to Cabrina to see what we could rent. We want to hire an ASO. Hey, I might be able to do this standing up. What else can we hire here, Simon? Kites, wind surfboards, surfboards, sweatsuits. That's Darren being a SUP instructor. And that's a random girl taking advantage of a GoPro left rolling on the beach. Good for you. Now on to business. We kept our meetings content short so that we could discuss it between sets. Every now and again, this happened which is all part of the process when you're having a meeting in the ocean. Unfortunately, this is the last time I will see my GoPro. See that one attached to my board's nose? Yep, that one got knocked off. And with it went a whole bunch of time lapses and footage of actual surfing. Eventually, the waves got in the way of the meeting, so we decided to finish it up at a coffee shop. Um, I don't really feel like cooking tonight. Uh, I know tomorrow's been working hard all day, so I'm gonna grab some Chinese takeaways on the way home and uh, call it a day. My fortune says that good business will come my way. Thank you. It was a good shoot. Um, we did lose the GoPro during our board meeting, which sucks because there will be no time lapses to the editing switch. Good night.